What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be talking about Spike versus Aqualad. All right, first, I'm going to be starting off with Spike. Spike has had a couple of different versions. There's been the X-Factor version, and there's been the X-Men Evolution version. There's been a couple of different movie versions, but I'm going to be sticking with the X-Men Evolution version. In X-Men Evolution, Spike is the nephew of Storm. He is sent to the, the mansion to learn how to use his powers. Spike has the power to throw spikes from his arms. At one point, he even had an exoskeleton. And with the ability to make those spikes explode upon contact, Spike is has blonde hair. That's kind of weird, but, you know, he's kind of like Wolverine, but he throws his spikes, so no, but, no instantaneous healing, but it's kind of like that. All right, and then you have Aqualad. Aqualad is the son of Black Manta. That is the villain of Aquaman. All right, his power is that he can control and manipulate water. He can breathe underwater, and he has... He's not invulnerable, but he's kind of a uh, super strong. Not super strong, but he can withstand more than the average person. His weakness is heat and dehydration. He was the leader of the Young Justice team, and he went on to actually be a villain or disguise himself as a villain. This is one of the more powerful teenage characters and black eye with blonde hair as well. All right, so, uh, yeah, Young Justice was a good TV show. He was the leader. His, in my opinion, Spike versus Aqualad, I got to give it to Spike because he's just better in my opinion. 